The roar of engines, the smell of burned rubber, and the adrenaline rush of high-speed competition, these are the hallmarks of NASCAR racing. However, amidst the thrill of the track, there are moments of uncertainty and challenges that test the resilience of even the most established teams. Richard Childress Racing, or RCR, a NASCAR star, was recently in the middle of a storm when the team's famous owner, Richard Childress, warned NASCAR officials about problems with the tires. What began as a normal race day for RCR quickly turned into a fight against problems they hadn't seen coming. As RCR's success on the track declined, there was a lot of talk and worry in the racing world. This led Childress to act quickly and deal with the problem at its source. Events that unfolded shed light on the impact of tire issues on RCR's competitive edge and the wider implications for NASCAR as a whole. When it comes to the high-pressure atmosphere of NASCAR racing, where split-second decisions and faultless execution can make or break a team's success, the Food City 500 at Bristol Motor Speedway posed a wide variety of problems for both the teams and the drivers. The management of tires was one of the most important aspects that dominated conversations and plans during the entirety of the race. The experienced owner of Richard Childress Racing, Richard Childress, had anticipated the potential problems that could arise as a result of tire wear. He took preventative measures by informing NASCAR officials about the impending problems from the very beginning of the race day. I went to the NASCAR trailer this morning and told them they were going to have a problem, Childers said during the race on his radio according to a tweet from NBC Sports reporter Dustin Long. His vision was not unwarranted, as the race progressed, revealing a harsh reality for many teams. Racing hard at the front of the pack may lead to considerable tire degradation and subsequent performance setbacks later in the race. This was a harsh reality that many teams had to face. Kyle Busch, a two-time cup champion, is currently driving the number 8 Chevrolet for his second year with RCR. In 2023, Busch had a successful season with three wins and 10 top five finishes, setting high expectations for his performance in the 2024 season. Despite encountering pit issues at Phoenix and Vegas, Busch's remarkable three-wide finish at Atlanta further solidified his reputation and increased his popularity among fans. As Bush made strides at Bristol Motor Speedway, the focus shifted to an intriguing development within the RCR team. NASCAR correspondent for Fox, Bob Pockris, sparked discussions on Twitter by sharing an image of what appeared to be a power broom, a tool designed to remove excess rubber from the concrete pit box. Users added to the conversation by sharing additional insights and images related to the tool, prompting a flurry of likes and reactions from fans. I was wondering who took my snowblower shovel, while Twitter user at JohnnySoFresh2 wrote in a crushing reply. This looks more innovative than the entire pit crew. However, it was this comment that directly tagged the official NASCAR handle and stood out from the rest, as it ironically expressed, At NASCAR, they're spending too much money. Think about the costs. Bristol equipment update for RCR, with many echoing one singular sentiment. Looks illegal, lol. The attention to RCR's innovative pit equipment generated mixed reactions, with some fans questioning its legality. However, amidst the speculation, one comment highlighted RCR's dedication to optimizing pit stops for their drivers. Bristol Motor Speedway holds significance as it marks the first time in three years that the event will be held on concrete instead of dirt. Bush's previous victories on concrete, including a notable win in 2017 at Bristol, added anticipation to his performance in the upcoming race. Despite concerns raised by some fans about regulations and equipment, RCR's focus on achieving a clean and efficient pit stop remains a key aspect of its strategy. The car owner was proven correct after the race got underway, with multiple cars spinning out as well as blowing tires. One of Childress's drivers, Kyle Busch, spun out twice, once in each of the first two stages. It was a disastrous day for Kyle Busch, the eight-time Bristol winner, as he encountered a series of unfortunate events during the Food City 500 at Bristol Motor Speedway. The troubles began during the final green flag stops at Bristol when Busch inadvertently hit a pit crew member, compounding his already challenging race day. As the race progressed, Bush faced further setbacks as he spun around multiple times, finding himself driving backward on the track. The situation worsened during the green flag money stops when Bush nearly ran over another crew member due to issues with securing the front left wheel. Fortunately, he managed to slow down in time, avoiding a potentially serious incident. These pit road mishaps highlighted the ongoing struggles of Bush's number 18, particularly in maintaining consistency with the pit crew. The constant personnel changes have added to the team's challenges, impacting their performance and creating a sense of instability. Ultimately, Denny Hamlin emerged victorious, while Bush finished in P25, reflecting the challenging day he had on the track. 
The race highlighted the pressing need for the Richard Childress Racing Team to address their issues and find effective solutions, such as stabilizing the pit crew lineup and improving tire management strategies to improve their performance in future races. During the Food City 500 at Bristol Motor Speedway, things went wrong for Kyle Busch, the star driver for RCR. What began as a normal race day quickly turned into a fight against problems that no one saw coming, especially tire problems that Richard Childress had brought up before the race. As the race went on, it became clear that managing the tires was a key factor that could make or break a team's success. Childress was proactive in telling NASCAR officials about possible tire wear issues. This showed that he had strategic insight and cared about his team's ability to stay ahead of the competition. Along with all the excitement of the race, everyone was talking about RCR's new pit equipment, which led to heated arguments among fans about whether it was legal and whether it worked. This made things even more complicated for RCR on race day and showed how hard the team is working to improve speed in the pits and on the track. But as the race went on, things got harder for Kyle Busch and the number 8 team. Pit road mishaps, like collisions with team members and problems with the tires, made Busch's problems on the track even worse. These setbacks not only ruined his race day, but also showed bigger problems within the team, especially with how stable and successful the pit crew lineup was. The race shook RCR up and allowed them to recognize how important it is to deal with their problems and find good answers going forward. RCR needs to work on stabilizing its pit crew lineup, making its tire management strategies better, and improving its overall race strategy if it wants to get ahead in the next races. In recent years, the significance of tire management in races has faded, but today's race marked a notable departure from that trend. Surprisingly, the leaders didn't immediately pull away from the rest of the pack, indicating that something unique was unfolding on the track. As teams and drivers grasped the situation, fans also recognized the challenge Bristol Motor Speedway was presenting, tire destruction rather than rubber buildup, causing widespread issues for all competitors. Bristol has a history of delivering thrilling races, although it has faced criticisms regarding race quality in recent times. However, today's event showcased a return to the intense old-school style of racing, reminiscent of late model races, creating anticipation for an epic showdown. In this unusual scenario, the question arises, will experienced veterans accustomed to such challenges reclaim their dominance, or will a young talent quickly adapt and outshine the competition? The debacle at Bristol Motor Speedway serves as a damning indictment of NASCAR's disregard for crucial warnings. Richard Childress's prescient alert about tire issues was met with apathy, and the consequences were felt throughout the race. RCR's day of misery and missed opportunities epitomizes the systemic failures and short-sightedness that plague the sport. It's a stark reminder that incompetence and negligence have no place in the high-stakes world of professional racing, and those responsible must be held to account for their costly oversights. Comment down your opinions on this negligence. Like, subscribe, and share for more.